in most places for most people is having many kids. The global fertility rate is currently at 2.3, meaning that women give birth to an average of just over two children. In Africa, the birth rate is over four children per woman, while in Australia, Latin America, and Asia, the average is about two. North America and Europe have the lowest fertility rates. Some East Asian countries have unusually low birth rates, including Korea, Japan, and even China. In 2015, China scrapped its one-child policy, but Chinese couples are no longer keen on having large families. Today, China has about 1.4 billion people. If China's fertility rate remained stable, each woman would have 1.1 children on average. That would mean China's population would drop to about 1.1 billion by 2050 and 390 million by 2100. And China's demographic problem, its aging society, would grow worse. If China's population decreases even faster than expected, it could face a massive labor shortage and plummeting economic growth. But many young Chinese couples are remaining childless for financial reasons. China's youth unemployment rate right now is very high. Young people are having difficulty just supporting themselves. It's impossible for them to start a family or raise children. This is why China's marriage rate is also very low these days. The number of marriages in 2023 was half of what it was in 2013. So people are reluctant to have children and are even reluctant to get married. Concerns about financial security are now having an impact on family planning. But the younger generation has other worries to contend with, like the environment and climate change. The child-free movement is catching on. We shouldn't be having kids as a society. We shouldn't be having children while well, there's still children in need, really. Yes, exactly. climate, climate change is just kind of the nail in the uh, coffin of the argument, but... Yeah, uh, not having children means that our children won't suffer and they won't be yeah. competing with other children who are already suffering for resources during a climate crisis. So, yeah, it, yeah. it, it pays off uh, double. Uh, double in that sense. Remaining childless for ecological reasons is a radical choice. It could benefit the environment but would also pose new challenges to economic development. We've never been able in human history to generate growth with such a demographic situation. So less workers, less consumers, that is going to prove to be a big challenge because our entire system, healthcare, infrastructure, uh, taking care of the elderly, etc., is predicated upon economic growth, which has been driven largely by population growth. But population decline could also make life easier for the coming generations. Fewer people could also mean less competition. In these places, low population growth or declining population even may put a lower pressure on the housing market and may make housing cheaper. It can also improve further employment options and ages and job opportunities for the smaller and smaller cohorts of people. And last but not least, planet Earth could also benefit from fewer humans. We're already depleting natural resources at an alarming rate. Less people! <sighs> less people means the, the, the potential for less pollution, for, for more space for wildlife and for, flora, for fauna and flora. Yes! But economically, it will be a challenge. A challenge but also an opportunity. Yes, I agree with you, Reptile.